slightly unblended. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. And today we are playing around with the Elf Jacobs palette. And I did this look. So if you'd like to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. I probably have my snack on my lips and in my teeth. But I have been meaning to do this for a minute. And I've just kind of been lacking the motivation. So I already did my face, but have this package that I ordered from Elf Cosmetics. It's the big boy. Um, I'm late to the game with this, but that's that's usually how it goes, right? So I ordered the J Kissa and the Elf collaboration, and it's fixing to be real noisy because I gotta open this box. I haven't even opened it. I've had it for a week and a half. I just like makeup has not been my priority this week, but let's crack this bad boy open. Gosh, struggled. Surely this wasn't a box that I would have deemed worth keeping. It was one of those good boxes. Holy crap. Okay. I think I finally got everything. Okay. So this collection came with these brushes and they are so cute there's six of them and look so cute and this palette i'll open that up in a second we'll do some swatches all the good stuff and eyeshadow duo topper and it looks like it is adorable so and then i have this because it was like you get to pick two free gifts i think they were out of one of the lipsticks that i picked so either way that lipstick come with it when I ordered. I think I ordered this the day that it came out. And it didn't take very long to get here. So, ooh, okay. I'm upset and what a pity smile. Ooh, that was so country. Smile. <laughs> okay, anyway. I have a whole mess. But this I'm upset one is cute. It's like, I thought it was gonna be green. But, I mean, gold, but it looks a little more on the grip. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Can I, can I get a focus, please? Alright. And then, what a pity smile. It's just this icy, glittery. Okay. just go and get it to stop. I don't know. Whole mess. Whole mess. So I don't even know where to start because I already feel like I'm backwards because I rarely ever do my face first. I'm just gonna take this off so I don't make a mess because I'm pretty messy. I will up include swatches here in just a little bit because I need, <laughs> need my husband's arm because I honestly suck at trying to do swatches on camera. My arm won't stay up like, I mean it will, but like when I'm trying to like do everything and I want to be able to like show the swatches, but it looks like this palette is going to be so cute and I'm really excited because I don't think that I've tried an e.l.f. palette in several years. It's called To The Rescue. The packaging is cute and sleek. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! Okay, it came with stickers. So cute. No, I'm gonna show. Oh, we're in light layer. Alright, maybe. Maybe not so much. So, we got stickers and a pretty decent size mirror that just made me realize that my foundation is looking a little cakey. That just made me want a cake. And my brows, let's look, like, let's talk about these brows for a second. I'm trying to learn how to do soap brows. And I feel like these are like messy and like, I've done better. And there was one time that I've done them so well. And I haven't been able to do them that way again. So it's like, hey, just like have messy brows like everything else. This, I really can appreciate the matte to shimmer ratio because I'm one of the one of those people that I prefer there to be more mattes than shimmers. 
I just feel like there's more that I can do. I don't know. I I was on like a big shiver kick for a long time, and now I can probably just do all that and be okay. But I've kind of gotten back into including shimmer into some looks. But
maybe I can point it in the right direction. And I'm just gonna dip her right into that. Apply it right where we left off with the red. This is very well with not having a whole, whole lot of fallout and I feel like the pigmentation is pretty good. Um, blending, I feel like it is blending pretty well. I just kind of feel like I haven't blended in a week because, I don't know, I've just I haven't had motivation to really do any kind of makeup. But, I'm just going to take the ColourPop E1 brush and the shade Yos Yosemite. The lighter yellow shade right there and a pot will blend out Millie with it it's so strange using a different mirror like I feel like the one that I use regularly is just a small one but it's not like I'm trying to use a you know like show what I'm doing when I'm just doing it by myself so I kind of feel a little awkward when I use my bigger mirrors. Okay, I'm not liking that. So I'm gonna take the Luxie 237 brush and try to blend a little bit more. I don't know, I just feel like I have awkward hands today. So now I'm just gonna touch up the Millie shade. I think I'm going to use the Sigma E25 brush for that, so I'm just going to make sure that I'm not blocking the view with my very tried hard for it to not be messy, but messy hair. Oh, I can't hear, guys. Okay. Millie. the crease so I'm gonna go like right here right where we left off with the orange just blend that and then I'm gonna apply a little bit more pepper into the deep crease just going in really and touching all these shades up a little bit more milly. Make sure you're cleaning your brush off. That way the colors aren't muddy in. To blend that out, I'm just going to get that Luxie 237 brush and some more of Yosemite and just blend that out some more. Cut off the excess. Ooh. Looking like a peach ring. Or reminded me of one anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a Q-tip and some micellar water and wipe off the part that I'm gonna cut the crease out. Uh, where I'm going to cut my crease out. So. mapped out pretty well. 
I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my ABH eye primer on the Morphe M421 brush just to cut the crease. Okay, now that the crease is cut out, let's take, I don't even know what shade I'm gonna do. Oh man, I think I'm gonna use, let's use Firefly. Yeah, that seems like a good one. And then we'll do a little pop of blue for the inner corner highlight, maybe. Don't hold me to that, because I don't know yet. Uh, we would just do this gold, like this yellow one, the firefly one. But how about we add a little bit of Suki? Just to kind of blend it together. So far, these are applying very well. Well, I think I might have spoken too soon. I may need to spray this one. Oh, fall out. Yeah, this definitely, Suki needs some assistance. Okay, so just a little spray on my Morphe Sutton Spray. Okay, that's a little better. Get this shade to even come out, it's leaving like, my brush isn't wet and it wasn't to start with and it just seems like I stuck a wet brush down into this. So, So the shimmer fallout is very, very, <laughs> which I knew that. I mean, well, not about this palette, but I figured that the shimmers would be kind of good like this. Cause usually with about every palette, you're gonna get some fallout like that. Okay, I think I got my base fixed back up. <laughs> So now I'm just gonna take that A14 brush by ABH and a little bit of, let's see, let's do Casey. And just blend, kinda like pat it on the side here. I didn't know like how 
I wanted to, if I wanted to, what? It's kind of, I feel like it's an iridescent blue, but I didn't want it to be super blue. So, for the lower lash line, I just used some of this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Joyride. It is one of my favorites. And for the lower lash line getting smoked out, I'm just going to mix Pepper and Casey and blend that into the lash line, the lower lash line. I'm taking the Morphe M408 brush to do this, and I'm just kind of patting it down. Oh, I've got something in these lashes. What? These lashes are the Kiss Lashes in Opulence. this palette but I'm just gonna wait until after we do the swatches to talk about them so I'm just gonna take Millie I've cleaned this brush off I'm gonna take Millie on the same Morphe 408 brush and right where we left off with the mix of Pepper and Casey just blend that in and using the Morphe M507 brush I'm just gonna use a little bit of Yosemite to blend that out and get it nice and finished off. All right, now I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of mascara into my lower lash line and I'll be right back with some swatches. So we weren't recording because I'm an idiot. <laughs> so I have really bad swatches, but I'm starting from this row, the first row with the reds. I'm gonna work my way over to the purple. So, the first shade is Casey, the second is Pepper, and the third is Strawberry. Now I'm going to go into Millie. Suki. The shimmers, or the shimmers swatch very well, but the mattes are not wanting to swatch very well at all. But... That doesn't mean that they're not good because I did not personally have any issue, which we'll get to in just a second. But that's why I said it could definitely be my fault that these swatches are not very good. So I suck at it anyway. This is Yosemite. This is Paloma. Fireflaw. Peaky. Tank, Reagan, Cannoli, Thatcher, Bailey, Sadie, Pretty Girl. And confetti. All right, so this is the finished look using the Elf Cosmetics XJ Kissa to the Rescue palette, and I feel like I look like a peach tree. <laughs> um, I have a couple of things to say. Like, as you can tell from the swatches, that, that could definitely be my fault. Like, I suck at swatching. But, Suki did not necessarily want to perform well on her brush without it being wet. But, when I was swatching it, look, I got stains on my hand. Um, as I was swatching it, I feel like it would be applied very well with a finger. It's like butter. These shimmers are very buttery and like just glide i mean i was wowed um the shades are easy to blend i just keep looking at them <laughs> i love it so much but for the price just wow elf has really stepped their game up i feel like anytime i do a video where i'm talking about elf i'm just like wow elf's really stepped their game up but they have like elf has very amazing affordable products you could be glam af on a budget you could get everything just about that you need for like full face and have elf and just be glam af now 
I don't think I've tried any of their lashes. I, I'm really into more dramatic ones. These ones are kind of subtle. Like, I really like long ones, but sometimes I feel like they take away from the eye look because then it's just like big spideys, as I call them, because my cat likes to swat them. She, she gets very interested. That's funny. Anyway, tangent. I mean, e.l.f. is just amazing. They have affordable brushes, affordable foundations, primers, lipsticks, eyeshadows. Uh, just, there's so much. And their skincare stuff. Like, and there's some things from their skincare I haven't tried, which is, well, a lot of it. But I do use their vitamin C serum, and I really enjoy it. But I'm just so excited about these products. And I know I didn't use the brushes today. But I really feel like there will be a time very, very soon where I will be using this palette again. Definitely the eye topper and probably the brushes because I just didn't know where I was going with it today. But here we are. And I would like to know your thoughts. What do you think about it? I feel like I just said, like a peach ring. So I'm kind of living for that. And I know like my earrings don't match. I didn't, really didn't know where I was going with it, but I felt like it matched the shirt. And, I don't ever match. <laughs> Let me know what you'd like to see next down below. If you'd like a chance to be featured in an upcoming video, please use the hashtag SlightlyUnblended on Instagram. Um, subscribe if you haven't or if you'd like to hop aboard the Hot Mess Express because it, this, this is a mess, okay? Uh, I will have my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok and Facebook page listed down below if you're interested in keeping up with me on days that I'm not uploading. I try to upload two days a week, but, but two days a week, but definitely on Sunday every week unless I decide that that's not working out. But so for right now, every Sunday, usually mid-afternoon, my Wi-Fi sucks, so I shoot for early afternoon, late morning, and then Wi-Fi technology, right? <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye!